Hello everyone, my name is Shi Jie Li. I want to present our current work, Multi-Skill Interaction for Real-Time Lidar Data Segmentation on Embedded Platform. This work is collaborated with Xiaoyan Li Chen, Yun Liu, Deng Xindai, Sirish Tasnis, and Yugen Gong. First, I want to introduce the motivation of this work. Autonomous driving becomes more and more important in our daily life. To ensure the safety of both driver and pedestrian, it heavily depends on sensor system, which usually contains lidar, radar, and camera. Among these sensors, lidar is the most important one, as it can accurate the nearby environment as a point cloud accurately. Based on this, this work tries to introduce semantic information into lidar captured data. More specifically, we want to assign each 3D point its semantic label. To ensure safety, powerful LIDA is adopted under autonomous driving, which can provide a large-scale point cloud at each skin. Processing this large-scale point cloud usually requires a lot of computing resource. However, the computation resource is usually limited under autonomous driving scenario. So, in this work, we try to mitigate this gap. As a similar task, 2D semantic segmentation tries to assign semantic label to each pixel. And there are many techniques designed for embedding platform in 2D semantic segmentation, like TensorRT, network distillation, and lightweight backbone. If we can utilize these techniques, we can achieve our target. Luckily, by utilizing the characteristic of LIDAR sensor, we can use LIDAR spherical projection to convert a 3D LIDAR scan into a 2D projection map. Next, I will present our methods. Here, I show the whole pipeline first. The input 3D LIDAR scan will first convert it into a 2D projection map by spherical projection. In our work, the 2D projection map consists of five channels, including x, y, z or coordinates, depths, and the remission of the corresponding 3D points. Different from previously methods, which usually treat all channels the same and process them all together, we treat them differently and first process them separately, then fuse them. This is achieved in mini fusion module. Scale information is important in 2D semantic segmentation tasks. Here, we adopt a multi-path architecture, where each path is responsible for an independent scale, and the information from different skills can be fully fused here. We also apply different supervision at different paths, according their characteristic, which will be shown later. This module is named as Multi-Skill Interaction Module. Finally, the information from all paths will be interacted at up fusion module. In the experiment, we will show the advantage of this design. At last, we convert 2D projection map back to 3D spaces and apply post-processing on it, like k nearest neighborhood. By this, we can get 3D predictions. During training, we apply weighted cross-entropy loss which is widely adopted in semantic segmentation tasks. To ensure the accurate results near the boundary, we also apply edge loss to try to make the network be aware of location of boundary. At the same time, we apply loss softmax loss to further improve the results. Finally, I will present the experiment results of our method. We test our methods on popular semantic KT datasets. This dataset provides pointwise semantic label to KT dataset. For evaluation, we use MIOU, which is the standard evaluation metric for semantic segmentation. First, we show the results of ablation study, including the impact of both modules and supervision. We can observe with current setting, our methods can achieve the best performance. Here, we compare our methods with other methods. In the left, we observe our methods can outperform previously projected based methods, like RangeNet, with much better efficiency. In the right, 
We can observe our methods can achieve good balance of performance and efficiency compared to other methods. Deployment is important for realistic application. Here, we try to deploy our methods on realistic embedded platform, JSON AGX by TensorRT, which can improve the efficiency further. We can observe, even on computed limited platform, our methods can achieve good performance on both performance and efficiency. We show some realization of prediction here. We can observe our method can do more accurate prediction compared to previously methods. Thank you for watching.